Under the hills and valleys of eastern Oregon is one of the richest fossil beds on earth, an ancient record spanning most of the age of mammals. In the Paleological Center, you view the working laboratory and collections room with over 45,000 specimens. And in the museum, you can walk through 40 million years of the age of mammals. Yes, this is a very special place. The Island and Time Trail leads you into colorful badlands banded layers deposited 29 million years ago. Amazingly, the fossil record occurs in an ordered sequence, well interspersed with datable rock layers. This is about a hundred foot thick layer of, I can't pronounce the name, a kind of mud separated the, the layers that stick out a little bit, the thin layers or ash that was deposited then followed by more mud another ash layer and they can date it by the ash layers rather precisely. Eastern Oregon was first recognized as a paleontological region in the 1860s thanks to the young frontier minister Thomas Condon. Condon's discovery spurred scientific interest. By the late 1800s, scientists from Yale, Princeton, and the Smithsonian Institution had acquired tons of fossil specimens from the area and presented them to the scientific community. Well, I really like this John Day fossil beds in Oregon. It's really interesting. Lots of fossils. It's one of the best fossil places um, in the country. A lot of people come here and rock hounds. Um, but we went hiking today. The drive is absolutely gorgeous. The mountains all look different. They're unique. Um, and uh, um, they're just beautiful. The scenery here is gorgeous. Yes, yes it is. We're here at the Camp Ranch and uh, we've been walking in the fossil beds at, uh, just up the road. It was uh, very interesting. Thousands, millions of years, 20 million years of volcanic activity, sedimentation have changed the landscape incredibly and left lots of layers of fossilized mammals and flora and ants and bugs. What'd That's, you think? This is awesome. Well, thank you for watching.